we're back on the roof. So we got a new cool call. Uh, we came up here, threw some gauges on because everything was running, and that's what we found. We have zero refrigerant in there. So there's probably a leak. So we're going to go ahead and pump this thing up with nitrogen, find the leak, hopefully fix the leak, pull a vacuum, charge it up, and go home because it's like 3 o'clock and I have to finish by 5. So uh, it's probably not going to happen, but I'll give it my best charge shot. It up to 250 and it's definitely dropping so we got a leak somewhere so we gotta check i'm probably gonna unplug that thing so i can listen for it but uh yeah all right so usually if you're looking for a leak you want to look for signs of oil which clearly we have here and clearly we have here i don't know if you can hear it but i hear a hiss somewhere so it's somewhere in here i hear it but i can't pinpoint it oh i really hope it's not one of those cap tubes so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and douse this uh, with soapy bubbles, see if we can pinpoint it. And then we're gonna try to fix it. But yeah, I had to take the whole lid off because they can't get that panel off. So we're probably gonna have to cut these veins out in order to get to it. Oh good, that thing turned off. So I hear the hiss. Oh man, so I found two leaks. Um, yeah, so there's one right there. I'm going right there, so this was rubbing down here so you can see it better. Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah, so we got a leak here. Actually, no. No leak here, just right here it looks like. It's hard to tell. But anyway, that's our leak. It's on the cap tube. Oh man, that's gonna be toughy to fix. Oh man. All right, well anyway, we found it. So we're probably gonna have to figure that out. So that's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and let this nitrogen out, grab the torches and uh, get this thing cleaned up. Or I'm sorry, brazed up. Okay, so I got her cleaned up. The leak's right here, right on the bottom there. So we're gonna have to be super quick with this. Because uh, if we overheat it, this whole thing will melt, and then we're screwed. Uh, worst case scenario, though, if that does happen, um, I'll just have to uh, get rid of this circuit and just plug it. I'll pinch it off. Um, but yeah, we got it all nice and clean. You want to make sure you clean the surface as best you can. That way the solder will stick, because we're going to basically be melting the solder onto it, because we can't heat it up too much. So yeah, so that's our hole right there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and try to get this brazed. And just showing you that I'm running nitrogen. Okay, going into our high side, coming out of our low side. I always use nitrogen when I brace. All right, we're gonna try to uh, get this brazed without uh, catching my Phone on fire. like we got it so we're gonna go ahead and put some more nitrogen in there and uh, see if it holds all righty then so we got her under pressure that's what it looks like right now uh, so far so good it's been about nine minutes 34 minutes or nine minutes 30 you get the idea nine and a half minutes and we're still at 116.8 and that's what we we started at 0.9 so not too worried about you losing 0.1 so I'm gonna find some electricity and we'll get our vacuum started all right, so we got our vacuum started. Uh, it's already at 6,500 microns. I literally just turned it on. So, so far, so good. So while this is going, I'm gonna go ahead and go grab some refrigerant and the scale, put this thing back together and take some stuff down. So we'll be back once we're ready to uh, put some refrigerant in this thing. All right, so we got our vacuum down to 435. We're gonna call it because we don't wanna go into overtime. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and close this off. Close that off, see where it's we stand. 
you can see it's actually going down. Uh, so we're about 564 is our actual vacuum. So we're gonna let her go for a little bit longer. Uh, and then we'll charge up our refrigerant. We already got all our lines bled and ready to roll. Uh, so this thing takes about four and a half pounds of R22 refrigerant, which we're gonna charge into it. Uh, and then we'll call it a day. All right, so we're valved off, so it's holding about 440-ish. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put our refrigerant in. All right, so the rest of the video got corrupted. I had two more clips, which showed me charging it and you know testing it and whatnot, but it looks like it got corrupted. I mean, the, the, the thumbnail was all white and when I tried to open it, it just crashed. So anyway, um, I just wanna let you know how it happened. So I ended up, um, you know, I got the vacuum down. I ended up charging it to factory charge. Uh, everything was working fine. I was getting about 22 degree delta between supply and return. Um, and it's been a few months since that call and I never got a call back. So I think it's fine. Uh, so anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Uh, hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.